When I'm testing that ball and I get on the field Ain't no going back, you know I get real I'm locking that up and I'm jamming that down Go hang up your kids and just send that up here This for the JTV, I'm rapping the city I'll dare you the name, who get better at DB Tell all your receivers to pull up and see me Embarrass them too, I get seen by celebrities Ain't about that life, you's running your mouth Go off on the ball and I'm picking it off Pick six, running back and they know that I'm about mine Yo, girl ain't gonna watch you before we go have time Do this for my son, now it's time to go game time Bro, you said what? Now you better get blindsided Go off on the floor, boy, you gotta come see me Do respect on my name, boy, this for the JTV uh. It's for the JTV, uh, 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 it's for the JTV, what, uh, uh, it's for the JTV, uh, uh, it's for the JTV, uh, uh, it's for the JTV, uh. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Gives it to the back on the draw. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it. Safe completion on the screen. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Great job, too, by the QB there. Holding the ball as long as possible, allowing the pass rush to get upfield, and at the very last second, getting it to his guy so that he can go get the first down. Jukes his way for more. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. On second down, they'll take to the air. Unloads to the wideout. Got him downfield. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. Ripping through the defense. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. Love the individual effort by the wide receiver after the catch, making people miss, showing you the speed. Now he set up his offense down in the red zone. Huge play puts them in the red zone, and now they'll snap it first and 10 from the 15. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. Listen, the offensive coordinator's best friend in the red zone is the running game. Make guys commit near the line of scrimmage so I can throw behind. This defense is good, but I'm going to challenge them. I'm, I'm going to try to be the more physical team. I love the play call. I think you keep running the football and stay physical. And this offense, I think, will do a good job in this game divvying up the football and distributing it to different guys in the passing game. It won't just be receivers. It's not going to be tight ends. This running back, he's a wet... And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. A defense scoops it up, and they're bringing it back. Defensive coordinators always preach swatting and batting at the football assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously, we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while well, they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. The inside handoff. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Now facing a third and long from the 50 yard line. On the run, it's Jenkins. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. And that is how you silence this raucous crowd. Defensively on the road, first drive of the game, setting the tone, getting a huge sack on third down. to go with it but couldn't find his target to take away. Just enough time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. Quarterback checking off. On third down, going up top. It's complete. And he's still running after the move. Snares it with those big hands and strolls into the end zone for the touchdown. This offense is high octane, boy, and you just saw it. Not a lot of time needed for them to go all the way and score six. Well done.
stop by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The offense lining up for a first down play. They go to the ground. Knocked down after picking up five out to the 24. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. A third and long coming up here. The give on the inside. And boy, is he close now. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Cross the 30 to the 35, and that's a gain of six. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Coming after it. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate it wasn't not free for a fumble. It'll be third down. Now this offense tries to figure out a way to move the chains after the second down misfire. From the gun on third down. He makes the connection. Coming through with that third down conversion, and they'll mark it at the 43. The analytics nerds say the goal was at least four yards on first and ten. Use the play fake, now to throw. Gonna take a shot at this DB. And they won't be able to connect downfield, looking for a big time play. Well, on defense, they know that this offense is gonna try and take shots, so they're gonna try and keep their secondary players in a position to make these types of plays. Good job on the back end forcing that incompletion. He'll just keep slinging it. Oh, he loves to fire downfield. I think for the quarterback, he's going to have to be so good with his eyes in this game. Going up against one of the best defenses in the country, you've got to look guys off, especially when you're trying to throw your primary target like he was on that last one. And that ball is picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. He looked as if he thought he had it all the way, and this junior makes a play. Not all DBs make the play at the end, right? They, they can bat the ball down, they can be in position. They don't really secure. Guys, FIU ready to go back to work on offense. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like. He's loose. And he strides his way into the end zone. It was a really nice job on the route concept because they got the safety occupied, which opened up the deep middle of the field for the receiver on the post. He uses his speed. Nice job by the quarterback, putting it out in front of him. He makes the catch. Setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. It's a draw. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Oh, man. The quarterback almost just threw his second interception on his many drives. He's trying to fit that football in there. It gets tipped up in the air. He's lucky that wasn't picked off. Finds his man. It's Ross. They'll move the chains. Good execution on third down. They've got it at the 41. Move the chains with that completion. Now on first down. Used to play fake, now to throw. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. That, friends, is a busted play. Incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. He got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. So coverage that.
that time, and the cornerback, a nice job with his eyes. He's watching the quarterback, he sees the ball thrown, so he knows exactly when to break on it. He's able to break it up for an incompletion. They want to just keep throwing it. Working the middle, it's complete. Now well within striking distance as that third down play gets him a first at the 29. Fresh set of downs after the completion. He'll pull it on the read. Nice move there. Yeah, and that's the hard thing about these cuties that can move and run all over the place and give you so many options is that that didn't even look like much, but he chews up so much yardage and gets those little gains that just death by a thousand cuts that continue to happen with this offense and the pass it's picked off got some room to run a dangerous cover man and a dangerous return man after the pick as he gets it all the way to the 44 yard line this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's and the Panthers will send the offense back onto the field. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. And the defense will corral the quarterback, and down he goes at midfield. Yeah, and the defensive lineman, you know, third and long situations, I'm rushing the quarterback. You bring in the nickel, a little bit more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack on third down. That deep ball down the field. Not letting the receiver put his big body on him. Go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that thing tipped to another defender, and it was an interception, but great coverage by the defender. Pass ball's incomplete, and there are still three seconds left. One more snap coming before halftime. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And he pulls it in inside the 15-yard line. And he will house it. Man, I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And tell you what, when you eat that passing game up, you can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. They've stayed true to their assignments, covering each receiver like a blanket. And you know what else they've done? They've wrapped up and tackled. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Ricardo Silva Stadium. Sidekick. The Florida International offense is back on the field. Tight game. As we start the third quarter, we'll see what type of adjustments they made at halftime. And getting the ball first here, I think, is such a big deal. Like, I get the first chance to make a statement, to make the adjustments, to create some momentum for my squad right here in the third quarter. Yeah, I think it's so important for this offense to set the tone here early in the second half, to get a nice drive going, build that confidence, and, and get your defense ready to come on out, get a stop, and change the complexity of this game. And this defense knew coming into the game with this quarterback's speed, David, they were going to have to be ready for him to tuck the ball and take off running. But it doesn't matter. You know it, but he's so fast. He just You don't know about the angles, and you can't tell how fast till you get in the game. And he just takes off and, and makes big plays with his feet. Looking for a crease. It's Owens. And he's brought down after a nice game. FIU pushing tempo. Play fake now to throw. 
can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Well, it's an early down on the one-yard line, so I think everybody's expecting run. They go play action to see if they can catch the defense off guard, but they do a good job in the back end with coverage and complete. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Go straight ahead. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. You can't afford to squander these opportunities once you get into the red zone. Twice they've been denied. Here's third and goal. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I got to be honest, I am shocked with just how well the defense has played in this game, especially stopping the run. We talked about statistically how they've struggled this season, but they have put the clamps down in this one. I like it. This defense plays aggressive on fourth and short, and they are rewarded. Figured they would run the football. They did. Nice job getting some penetration and stopping that fourth down play. Nice move to pick up yardage. He hits that hole. It opened up for him as he gets six and all the way out to the nine-yard line. And you've got to think there's 11 guys on defense right now keying in on this running back. They've watched the tape. They've seen this guy gash defenses. He's scored a boatload of touchdowns this season. You're anticipating him getting the football here. Slams his way forward. He'll get three out to the 11. This is the type of play that can give the offense momentum. Third and short from inside the 20. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Complete to the left. Able to work into the 39-yard line, and that'll be a first down. This is so great to see, and it's such a big part of the evolution in college football today with spread offense, up-tempo, RPO game. QBs have got to be great with their ball mechanics in the play-action game, and you saw a great example of that right there. Incomplete. He had to get rid of it before he wanted to. The defense put the heat on. There's a lot of QBs that when they get hit and when they get hurried and when they get pressured, they become very average. Really nice job by the defense pressuring the quarterback. Let's see which way they go after the incompletion. Second and ten from the 39. Throws to the wideout. He's got an open man. Delivers the contact. They ripped off a big one, and they get it down to the 27. This offense always looking for those big, explosive plays, and now they've got it just inside the 30. They'll throw it on first down. They're setting up the screen. Pirouette gets it loose. They bring him down. He's got a first down, but that might be the final play of the third quarter. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. They'll be able to get off one more play before quarter's end. Trying to find his man on first down. Fires to the wideout. Gets it into the end zone, but there is a flag down. We'll see if this one is hold, coming hold, back. Hold, 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 hold. Just a the penalty wipes out the touchdown, and now they'll have to try to get it together and score again. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked into what this defense is trying to do. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, we know this defense is one that plays with a lot of pride, right? Part of that is their ability stopping the run. They're a top 25 unit in the nation when it comes to stopping the rush, and that really helps them out down here in the red zone. They're going to have to... And into the end zone, and he'll go out of bounds, and this aerial attack just continues to carve this defense into tiny slices. So this offense with an opportunity to put this game in a hammerlock if they can score and bleed the clock. And this offense hoped to just run it in, and the defense was having none of it. No game. Ball remains at the two. Can the D deny them on second and goal? He'll keep it himself. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And listen, it's 
it's tough. It's a tough proposition. This is the top 10 defense against the run. You know they're physical. You know who they are. But you're not going to bat an eye. And you're going to challenge your guys, especially in the red zone, to be more physical, to, to be able to continue to run the foot, create some of those explosives, take those deep shots, make those big plays. The offense will gladly take a fresh set of downs after the penalty. He'll come out throwing on first down. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. The Panthers in the hurry up. And when you get zone coverage and you're running curls and the wide receiver sprints off the ball, you know what happens? That DB starts to bail and that wide receiver comes back and it's easy pitch and catch for the offense. Can't hang on and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. Power football with the run. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. They've got to get the football to the 32 to pick up the first down. To throw, it's Jenkins. Throws to the wideout. And the misconnection on third down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? On fourth down, going to the air. Makes a grab enough for the first. And they finally make the tackle, but this will be a pretty easy conversion for this offense. Big drive for this offense late, trying to tie the game. They piece together a couple of first downs, and here they come again. We've reached the two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. And the Panthers are on the move. Comes out throwing on first down. Got his man in the middle. Crisp execution in the passing game, and they've got it down to the three. And guys, if they can make their way into the end zone, we'll have a tie game in the fourth, and the stage will be set for a great finish. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Trying play action. Unleashes to the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. If they can pay off this third and goal with a touchdown, it might be getting a little tough to swallow over there on the other side. decision here. Do you want to kick it? Tie it up? I, I think you do with this time frame. You know, one to two minutes left in the fourth quarter. You probably want to do that, but... It's still a one-score game. They're trailing by eight to New Mexico. We'll circle back if anything changes in this exciting college football matchup. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. He'll do it himself. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. Yeah, and after the QB calls his own number and all these options, obviously multiple plays, he decides to stick with it, get some positive yards, and, and now what's next off of that? What's my next read off of that? How am I going to mix things up and keep this defense off balance? Smashes through. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. And, you know, big chunks like this don't happen unless you commit to the run game. you got to get those big boys up front into the game, understanding I want to knock people off the football, create some holes like you do here for my running back, make the game easy. Throws to the back. Incomplete. Man, is he lucky to get that one back. Defense that close to an interception. All right, well, the quarterback's showing you he is human after all. Finally throws an incompletion, and not just that. After a couple completions back to back to back, almost throws a pick. Right on target this time. And the big game, and they've got it on the 46. Nice job by the receiver on the in route there. And how about the speed after he made his break? He was able to actually separate a little bit from the DB, helping out his QB on that one. To the air on first down. He'll try to do it himself. 
How about that job to get down in the nick of time to avoid the big hit? Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You can get the ball out. But when things break down and they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Man, that was a good run, but it was almost even better. Great job by the offense. Keep the running game going. You get big chunks like this. Not only was that a big chunk, it also looked like it could have gone for more. Quarterback moving out of the pocket. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. Timeout is called with just a single second left. And still a few inches short of the sticks as they come to the line for second down. He's looking to throw. Getting some heat. Pressure is on the way, and the pressure has arrived, and down he goes at the 30. Well, guys, let's play some more. Headed to overtime. And this just feels right. Teams going back and forth, so of course, David, this thing needs to get decided in OT. Let's see who's better. Short amount of time to do it. A couple possessions, probably. Maybe one possession each. Who's the better team? All right, guys, so here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's... The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. He's looking for an open man on second down. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. I understand the quarterback wants to get this dominant wide receiver the ball as often as possible, but I will try to get it to him in double coverage. I think you have to let the defense's coverage dictate who gets the ball. There was somebody else open on that play. Wide open downfield. He stopped just short of the goal line at the one. An explosive play has him set up. First and goal as they try to jump on top here in overtime. They'll try to power it in. And he's into the end zone for a touchdown. There have been miniseries, novels, movies, long-form plays that have been over in shorter period of time than that drive. That was a marathon. And they know what's in front of them. They have to answer that score with a touchdown. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Snagged in the middle. It's Lewis. Touchdown, Panthers. They got the score. Now to see if they go for the win or the tie. And what a response. You just gave up seven on the other side of the field. Every reason to get dejected. Oh, man. But they come out and they respond and they score on the first play. And now Jesse Sports college football. And he makes the extra point. Second overtime. From the gun, running back on the move. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. FIU mounting a threat in the red zone. Going up top on first down. If he houses this, it's ball game. A veteran in this defense stayed locked in on his rules and made the interception. Oh, that's a throw the quarterback would love to have back. In this juncture of the game, it's overtime. You're down in the red zone. You know the windows are going to be small. Just got too aggressive with his to take over. And if they score, they win. First down in this defense is desperate. Any kind of score and it's over. They'll go to the ground. Stop is made, but he picks up four yards down to the 21-yard line. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Look, there's no reason to be up tight here, but you do need to make sure that you protect the ball. But listen, overtime, crunch time, run the football the first play, get everybody settled in. I still got plenty of time for my offense to do so. Third down, any kind of score wins it. They want to make sure they stay in position for their kicker. Feeling some heat. He caught it. Gets it inside the five. Down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. 
Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. At receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. And he got it down to the three. Now it's second and goal. And this offense new coming into the game. When they get to the red zone, it's going to be tough sledding because it's hard to run, especially against this physical defense. They're one of the top five defenses stopping the run. And you know at this area of the field, it's really tough to throw it. Let's see who the more physical side is. Get the ball in position for a game-winning field goal here in overtime. Moves. On the option. He'll toss it. He's knocked down in the back. Ready. So they'll pass on the field goal try. Fourth and goal, this close to the end zone, you want to ramp up that pressure, and they'll do it by going for it. He is denied, stopped just short of the goal line, pushed his way to the one and couldn't go no further, and they'll turn it over on downs. And now it's all two-point conversion attempts from here on out. Let's go. Little touch pass to the receiver. Tremendous execution to get the two, and now they turn up the heat. It's all about mental toughness. That's impressive there to get the two-point play, and now you're putting it on your defense. Can they rise up to... You're walking over there, too, guys. We just need one stop. One stop, and we walk out of here a winner. I know you're exhausted. Just give me one more play. They can't convert. A great stop by the defense, and a game-winning one here in overtime. I know how to sum up this game succinctly. That was fun, and what a victory to remember. Fun for them, fun for us, just the back and forth. Uh, games that are so nip and tuck, and you know every play matters so much. These are the games that we love to call. Yeah, every play matters, David, and that's why coaching staffs practice overtime scenarios and situations throughout the week. It's important to drill these types of scenarios. You never know what games are going to go to OT, and when they do, you love to be able to go out and execute with the game on the line. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, 